In the beginning, and our theory on this was we wanted to support people, right? So whether that was a startup with, you know, one Linux admin that just needed help or uh, a, a hobbyist at home to, you know, some of the largest institutions in the world, right? So, and then the other piece to that is um, you go to some of these large institutions, there's all the way from complete man maintainers of the kernel themselves all the way down to somebody that just came out of college themselves, right? So um, we wanted to have a, a mechanism to do that. Obviously, we also uh, have a, a traditional mechanism um, for folks as well, but we, we really wanted to focus on people. And a lot of our model is built around how many people actually need support, not necessarily the number of servers and sockets that are out there. And Amy's actually on our support team and maybe could give you a, a little bit of her perspective as well. It's something I haven't seen done before. When it was explained to me, I it, I had a moment where I was like, wow, this is actually really cool. And I think people are going to be interested in this. Essentially, you get support through a person and not how many machines are responsible for. I mean, in the in the age of cloud, I mean, how many machines are you responsible for? They come up, they come down. The existing model in some cases doesn't make sense for people. For some people, it totally does, and we support that as well. But this is a new model, and we're seeing what people think about it. So far, the response has been really good, and, and I'm excited about it personally. I wish that this was something that had been offered to me in the past. 